Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Remy Tinubu, the first lady of Nigeria. She had a speech about Meghan Markle recently and I don't know, there was a lot of confusion. It was very clear to some people what she said, uh, what she meant about Meghan Markle, but to some people it was unclear. And in fact, she sent a letter, she clarified her comments, and in fact, the correction was, she meant Megan appreciates the people we are and hence her coming here. At no point did she say anything about Megan's dressing. That's what the first lady's office said in a statement to AFP fact check. She meant Megan appreciates the people we are and hence her coming here. The first lady said in a statement to AFP fact check in a story published on May 30, at no point did she say anything about Megan's dressing. Okay, all right, so I just wanted to put that the first lady has put out a corrective statement and she's implying that she was misconstrued and misunderstood. Um, but it was unmistakable, it was undeniable. It did seem like her critical comments were were syncing up with Megan's, some of Megan's dress choices during the Nigerian visit. I think there were some clothes where she was fully clothed and covered up, like that yellow, beautiful yellow gown she had on, like a caftan. But yeah. Anyway, so this reading right now is we're gonna be focusing on what does the first lady of Nigeria, Remy Tinubu, uh, what does she think truly of of Megan, Duchess Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle. All right, let's go ahead and get in there. If you'd like to see the shuffling and card selection process for this reading, please note I move that to the back of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, let's get in there. We're getting the Three of Cups. Wow, she feels like they had a good time. She feels like there was a big party and the First Lady of Nigeria views Meghan Markle as part of her community. I'm seeing friendship here. I'm seeing happiness, the happy conclusion to something. And I see curious. I think that Ulu Remy Tinubu is curious about is Meghan Markle still happy with the outcome of the event? Is she still um, okay? Are things still good with everyone and everything? You can see the three hands reaching out, connecting, coming together at a time to rejoice with f food and treats all around. Yeah, so that's very interesting. So I think that's a positive read. She's curious though, are things still good, right? We're getting the Warrior of Cups. So the Warrior of Cups is the Knight of Cups. I feel like Oluremi Tinobu, she feels a love for Meghan Markle. Mm -hmm. And I see the Hierophant here, which symbolizes tradition, a, a legacy. And I feel that Oluremi thinks that Meghan Markle is in pursuit of or seeking or in love with tradition. Okay, that Meghan Markle wants to be part of some legacy. And they, so she's seeking and pursuing that, wanting to be part of that culture. The Hierophant also represents, you know, that culture, okay, as well. The the, the mores, the, the way things are done, you know, the traditions. Uh, and that Meghan Markle is seeking this in her life and is in love with it, in fact. Okay, that's the impression she has of Meghan. Next, we're getting the Eight of Cups. She thinks that Meghan has moved on for the time being. And Oluwemi is wondering, will she come back? Will Megan ever return? She's wondering, okay? We connected, we had a good time. She obviously loves the culture and is after the culture and wants to be part of that tr tradition. She's left, but will she come back? All right, let's move on to the next card. We have the Seven of Cups. And we're getting a magnifying glass, right? I feel like she thinks that Megan is searching for something. Yeah, because then that kind of goes along with the magnifying glass, searching. That Megan is searching for purpose. That Megan is trying to make a choice about something. She's searching. She's looking up close with details uh, at something. Okay. Let's see. What is Megan searching for? What does Ulrini think that Megan Markle is searching for? All right. So uh, we're getting a little baby bird. Oh, that's cute. Keeping an eye on the baby bird. Christmas tree. Okay. So I feel like um, Remy thinks that Meghan Markle has gone to go look for her babies. Yeah, gone to go look for her babies and look after her babies and keep an eye on her children. Um, also, maybe Oluwemi thinks that Meghan Markle has moved back to the culture she's used to. You know, this type of Christmas, you know, the Christmas trees and all that, that's definitely from the Western world. That's not an African thing. So I feel like she, I feel like Oluwemi thinks that uh, Meghan Markle has gone back to her, you know, the land that she's from, America, to do their traditions and by and large to keep an eye on her babies, keep an eye on her children. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's move on to the next card. We have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, spicy. The Seven of Swords represents... It could be theft. It could be theft. Uh, deception. Uh, trickery or strategy, too. Just being tactical, okay? And we have here an elephant. So she thinks that Meghan Markle is very strategic, man. Very strategic. And that she has learned to train right train a, an elephant the Meghan Markle trains and sits atop a trained elephant uh, and this is part of Meghan's strategy she feels that Meghan got Harry because um, Harry is, is a a bigger than average symbol in the world would you guys agree you know he's he's more he's more famous than most just there's a lot of clout that comes with the name Prince Harry, you know. Oluremi thinks that Meghan is very strategic in being in control of a very powerful being, being in control of a powerful person. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay, the Ten of Swords brings to mind feelings of, you know, failure or defeat. Okay, and even backstabbing. That's what the traditional Rider Waite style tarot cards, that's the energy that comes with it. This particular Ten of Swords, though, and this is from the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. The person is surrounded by the Ten of Swords and they've empowered themselves by t picking up some of the swords. Okay, so she feels that, you know, Meghan Markle has not been liked by many. She's been betrayed, backstabbed by many mistreated by many um, and that Meghan Markle has got uh, is being strategic right and has a bright idea she feels like Meghan Markle's light bulb is on guys Oluremi thinks that Meghan Markle's light bulb is turned on she's smart her brain's working and that she's found a way to turn some of these swords that were launched at her to pick them up and use them as weapons herself okay I see the person who's been attacked with the ten swords has picked one of the swords up and picked up another and armed themselves with the attacks that are coming that have come towards her the Megan has armed herself uh, and turned some of these um, attacks into weapons in some kind of way let me get a bit more detail on this one take a spare could you please clarify the ten of swords and the bowl for us please we have shapeshifter right and oh and the castle look at that so you know I feel like Olurimi thinks that Meghan Markle has found a way to change herself from a royal person into something else right here's the castle and all the pomp and all the ceremony and all the privilege and all the prestige and everything that comes with it and here's shapeshifter right next to it which means me that uh, Olurimi thinks that Meghan Markle has found a way to convert that royal vibe into something else let's get more information into what Olurimi thinks Meghan Markle has turned this energy into could you please clarify give us more information on the shapeshifter castle okay let's see oh that she left right so and she moved somewhere else she she shape-shifted away from castle life mm -hmm. and she thinks Oluremi thinks that Meghan Markle was smart to do that was smart to take those attacks she was getting in England and embolden herself with some of the ideas that were thrown at her maybe some of the attacks in England were telling her go back to where you're from go back to the United States get away from our country and maybe Meghan Markle went with that she took those ideas right swords represent ideas and in the Ten of Swords, we have ideas that are being hurled at something to attack it and or continuous repetitive failures. And it feels like Meghan Markle grabbed some of these ideas and said, that's actually a good idea. I'll go with that. Uh, Oluremi feels that Meghan Markle acted or took some of these ideas and owned them, made them hers, and shape-shifted herself away from the palace and left. So this is what she thinks that Meghan Markle was smart to do. And this is what the First Lady of Nigeria, Oluremi Tinubu, Thanks of Meghan Markle. Very interesting. If you've enjoyed this reading, please hit like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you can continue getting readings from me. You can share with others if you like. And um, if you have any questions or comments, if you have any further requests, then place them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Bye.